Hey you, welcome back to A Thing Called Art. We took a break, but listen, today we're back like Ngolo and exploring Turban Art Fair. We had the incredible opportunity to witness Tebe Magugu's captivating mother and child heritage series brought to life in this beautiful installation. The series explores the rich concept of motherhood across various South African cultures. Magugu beautifully captures the essence of motherhood across nine distinct South African cultures where each dress embodies a unique cultural identity. As a new mom, this struck a chord with me and was a beautiful way to kick off Turban Art Fair. Turban Art Fair is one of my favorite art fairs as it's a great place to see art from both established as well as up and coming artists. The work on display is also generally affordable so it's accessible to everyone. I mean, at the one booth I remember seeing prints from as little as 900 Rand. Listen, I never want to hear anyone say they can't afford art. <laughs> Caroline Suzman is an artist I discovered at this year's art fair and I really dig her work. I feel like there's a misconception that photography isn't really like a real form of art <laughs> but I, I, I disagree. I think her photographs they're almost like windows into just like a beautiful world. The way she plays with scale and uses intriguing kind of unexpected subjects is really incredible. It kind of feels like you get transported right into the heart of the moment that she captured. I really enjoy when different forms of creativity collide and here we have art as well as fashion coming together to create something really meaningful and unique. So Tsepo Jeans um, use denim as a medium for artistic expression and Alka Dusk, of course, infused her distinctive artistic style onto this canvas and the results turned a mere garment into, I feel like, an intricately woven story that reflects the power of visual storytelling and craftsmanship. This is Mukaka Wuli Nobagata's first solo show and what a show it is. From the start of her artistic journey until this present moment, Nobagata has consistently found herself captivated by the beauty of the female nude form. It wasn't until she came across an essay by the esteemed theorist Audre Lorde titled Uses of the Erotic, the Erotic as Power that the reason behind this fascination became clear. Throughout history, women have been conditioned to prioritize the happiness of others, to serve the needs of men, often at the cost of their own self-connection. Nobagata's art delves into the suppressed well of power. And of course, in our contemporary era, the image of women, particularly black women, looks like it has never looked before. Nobagata's artistic expression therefore serves as a form of performance art embodying the power of self-connection that's been historically demonized. Listen, I can't remember the name of this booth, but 
booths like this are the reasons I thoroughly enjoy Turban Art Fair. They had a collection of various artists' original works, not prints, and the prices are amazing. This piece by Ulum Gombete really stood out for me. One aspect of Mbete's artistic practice involves the transformation of Aranda blankets, also known as Ichali, into sculptures and wall hangings that incorporate beading, weaving and stitching. The blankets have a special meaning to her because they remind her of her grandfather these blankets hold memories of him, reminding her of who he was and what he meant to their family. Lazy Hound Tsoka, listen, he's loose, I'm assuming Tsoka, is an artist from South Africa who is inspired by American street art, hip hop, as well as his Zulu heritage. In his art, he uses symbols. He believes symbols create ideas in our minds, even without using words. Symbols are like keys that help us remember distant memories and bring different ideas together. And of course, he puts meaning and intention into his artwork. There's something very familiar about Andrew Jabele's work. His work stood out because of the use of the subject of black children. I literally saw myself um, as a young girl in one of his paintings. Jabele uses historical items. I saw old maps, stamps, parts of novels, there were music sheets, even poetry to create his art and this serves as a background to the main images. Um, like I mentioned, the, the black child that he uses. Through his artwork, Sunchabele tells stories of hope and optimism. Really hope you enjoyed exploring Turban Art Fair as much as I did. I'm going to drop a list of the artists I mentioned in the description box below. So check that out if you're curious. Until next time.